It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yes. Orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Yay. Oh. I, no, I can't. Okay. There's a book. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt? Yes. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first one to nod off, then the rest. As the sun was setting over the freeways, Blank's head accidentally drops onto Blank's shoulder. The sudden jolt wakes him up, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. I want it. Oh, boy. Is this the lost library that Mori mentioned? Not Mori, um... Basilnut mentioned? Ooh, mountains of books forgotten through time. The keepers of this library have long since passed. Can you find a book at Amethyst? Read that excerpt? Excerpt? Yes. <clears throat> A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than Blank, holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, Blank disappears out on the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all over the carpet. Blank's face turns red and yells for Blank, but Blank is already long gone. Blank hands Blank some wet paper towels. It looks like they're only adults here, and if they don't clean up this soon, the carpet's going to stain. They'll have to deal with Blank later. Is it Mom? Mom and Dad? Mm. Is this shitty parenting? so dark it was a hot summer day and all blank could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow the backyard was a mess planks of wood were strewn through the area pink stains paint stains blocked the grass thanks to blank and blank's work all day blank was watching blank lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck he watched blank hammer his fingers over and over and made a note that over an hour has passed since Blank has climbed down her ladder. I will just be their moral support, Blank thought. He sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help, and he won't be able to refuse. The tree house is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Blank knows this, and agrees. But reluctantly, he slides up and mobbles his way to the mess. He knows he shouldn't- he should put his in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. I cannot read for the life of me today. What? Uh, what is this? I 
Why can't I fight it? You find a book of interest. Yes. This year, Blank was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, 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 would gaze listlessly through the opening. At the shadows of the tree, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own world, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same day as any other. Blank stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of the rear. Blank looks away from the opening. Blank smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's time for it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Blank's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. Uh, we already went this way. Right, yeah. And he can't even go this way. So it's okay. Was I able to go the other way? No. There's a book staring at me, though. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might not have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Blank jumps first, then blank, then blank again, then blank again. The, bro the brothers gleefully urge Blank to join them, and after some careful thought, Blank warily agrees. Blank shovels up to the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling up on his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to meet with those of Black Spider. In an instant, Blank loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too hopeless. And this is what he believes. Blank shuts his eyes. Something happened with, like, a drowning incident? And waits for the brothers to save him. <laughs> so that's what it sounds like. I can't see anything. It's so dark. Okay. There's nothing over here. Except eyes staring at me over there. You find a book of interest. This is the last one. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Blank looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He will be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. He grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Oh. Something opened. Um, okay. Does that thing have feet? It looks like it. Seven keys left. Oh, I wanted to go the other way. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole? Yes. Oh, cool.
Don't forget, it's in the toy box. It's in the toy box. Oh. Is there anything new? Two days left. I do not enjoy the new music area. Hey Sunny, it's Mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pa pacing your chores. I don't think I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Cal? If not, it's alright. I understand. Just ch just take things at your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs to see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. She says going brush my teeth first I'm going hello hello sunny are you there What would you like to do? There's a cat on my roof. Hi, Sunny. Top of the morning to you. Hehe. <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. Turns out Hero's not coming back until dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Farmway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Do you want to come along, Sunny? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. It's a cat. Yes. I don't have any fish. Is he gonna yell at me again for going on the sidewalk? Apparently not. Okay, it's good. Oh, Cal smells. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it, it must have been Aubrey and the scooter gang. Sunny, be honest. Do I smell? Oh. Wait, hold up, Sunny. I know it's been a while since you've been over my place, but now might not be a good time. I want to pet your dog. more trash. Basil? Oh ho ho, hello. Ah, uh, today's such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. 
So anyways, lads, could you spare some change during this hard time? I do five. Hi, Kill and Sunny. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? Oh, she's here. Okay. Oh, what a lovely day for a picnic. I brought my specialties. Chicken pot pie, lemon pie, and of course, my world famous apple pie. There's a lot of pie. Phew, making patties is hard work. But once I sink my teeth into that gen tender, juicy burger, it's gonna be all worth it. Hmm. can almost taste it now. Dear, pay attention. The patties are burning. Oh, shoot. Thanks, son. That was close. Cute. Let's not talk to Basil now. I... Aw. It's trash. I'm a trash man. Oh. Hey pals, good to see your wrinkly forehead. The these new recyclers folk that have been showing up have been making a real change around here. This is the first time I've seen so many people taking initiative to pick up trash. Makes up my job a whole lot easier. Something about them feels a little fishy though. Yeah. I wonder. Hey little lady. Uh thanks. Um alright. Let's save before we talk to Basil. <laughs> hey, Cal. Hey, Sunny. So, Basil, nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Yesterday. What do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom? Ah, alright. Uh, yeah, I feel much better now. Did you want to hang out with us today? Sunny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. Don't remind Basil, stupid. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Aw, oh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. See you later, I guess. Don't... Shut up, Cal. Fucking... <laughs> Slap me in the back of the head. Fucking tell him. I remind him. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the bakery in other mart. Lead the way, Sonny. Oh. oh. The Scooter Gang is here. As I was saying, can you believe... Wait, let's go to hobbies first. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Sunny, I just remember something. Do you remember when we were kids and used to sneak out in the house to go to hobbies in the middle of the night? We could never get up for school on time the next morning, and here in Mario would always ask why we looked so tired. I'm sure they suspected something, but I'm glad they never told our moms. We were pretty adventurous back then, huh? Oh, hello there. Hmm, I see. You're carrying a pet rock, so that means you want to clash. I'll have you know, us veterans are a bit tougher than your normal players. Do you still want to challenge me? Yeah. Okay, come on, Octo... Okotaku? Let's show them what it means to be a veteran. Do -do 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 Oh my god, that took me forever. We, we lost? Wow, I'm really shocked. I guess shopkeep was right to send you to us. You seem to have a lot of potential. I'm sure you'll go far. Man, that took me forever. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of older wear collectibles. People come all the way- oh, okay. It's the same thing. Ah, Sunny, you've come. I've heard from the other veterans that you've already defeated them. I have? Yes, that's right. I said other veterans. It's about time I finally revealed myself. I am Shopkeep, the strongest veteran of Faraway Plaza. It's really impressive, Sunny. In the short amount of time, you managed to be beat the best in our area except me. Sunny, I must attest to your strength myself. 
You're gonna have to fight me right here, right now. Hey, I thought you'd say that. Let us clash. Oh, damn it. <laughs> My god. There is like no formula or stuff to this. I hate it. Amazing. You're really amazing, Sunny. Maybe even better than no. Never mind. I may have already said too much. As a prize for a victory, take this. You got a nostalgic CD. Oh, nice. Also, there is one veteran in Faraway Plaza who is even stronger than me. Some say that she even be may be the strongest clasher in the entire world, but she's elusive and keeps her identity a secret. Though, I'm sure if you found her now, she would be able to sense your strength as I have. If you choose to seek her out, you may regret it. But I won't be the one to stop you. Just be wary. She's truly a force to be reckoned with. You may have been warned. There's no fucking formula to this. Shut up. Hey, it's you guys again. I'm still working. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you ten dollars. No, oh, thank you for everything. With that last donation, looks like I'll finally be able to leave town. I don't think I have much to pack, so I'll probably be leaving soon. I should say goodbye to everyone, but I don't even know how I'm gonna break it to my dad. I'll probably let my little sister join all first. Do you have a, a CD for me? Dina's Pizza is the bomb. This one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking cheese pizza, just the way I like it. Let's dig in! So, munch, 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 munch. We're still going on a secret hangout spot today. I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. Made it myself, out of a cool stick and jump rope yesterday. Do you think it'll work, Charlie? Okay, so we're going to our secret spot. That's a perfect date spot. Be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming. Sounds. Pretty fun. Well, while you're all fooling around, being babies. I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. We're looking for the perfect rocks all week. You can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Michael. Like any girls would actually wanna go to Lake with the, you paying them. I told you to call me the map. Ha! I bit my tongue. What a loser. Well, Master, are you hurt? You po food dis Kim. Talk to the people first. Hello, and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Mm, yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's what my brother's nickname is, Hero. You'd think of it because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or once. But no, he just really likes sandwiches. So it's called a Hero Sandwich. It was called after Hero, the sandwich. You got Kel's pizza order. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sunny. I'm ready when you are. Now we just gonna need. Now we just need to get the cookies from the bakery in the other mart. Uh, so cute. Dang it, I'm trying to fix this arcade machine, but I'm missing a rare and important piece. It looks like it was just bitten off right here. I wonder where it could be. Someone bit a thing off? What is this song? I know this song. This is a cover Hanging with the Boys by Slime Girls. Aww. Okay. Yesterday while I was eating a banana, I found a cool overgrown lake area just behind the park. But soon after, a bunch of hooligans and scooters rolled in and kicked me out. And to make matters worse, they even threw away my banana. 
Sigh. Can't let a bunch of kids boss me around. I'm an adult now. A young adult, at least. Cute. Alright, let's, uh, excuse me, sir. Hell yeah, let me do this quick job. I need money. Huh? What? You're finally done? Excellent work, kid. Here's $30. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah. Oh, 30 bucks. Hmm, what floor lamp should I get? The pink one? The blue one? The plain one? The fancy one? Why does this even matter? It looks like trash to me anyways. Ugh, I hate decisions. I think I'm gonna throw up. Grumble, grumble. Hey kids, how's your day been? My day's been okay. The stubborn link is making my life out. I was tweaking around with it one last night and it's just gotten worse. Maybe it's time to call a professional. Ugh, oh, what am I saying? My pride won't let me do that. I have to fix it myself. I'll come back for you, you stupid leak. Is there anything exciting out here? Nope. He's not here. Oh. Uh oh. Hey, uh, Sunny. Let's go somewhere else. Cal, son, is that you? What are you doing here? She's supposed to be doing errands for your mom. Hi, Dad. I didn't see you there. Come on, Sunny. Don't we have a really thing, important thing we have to do? Yeah, we should get going. Don't want to be late. Oh, all right. See you later, champ. That's so funny. Thanks, dude. Bye. Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. Isn't the bakery usually closed? Actually, I want to buy fish first. <gasps> Lady! Wait. You don't stand at anything that they're saying. Well, let me talk to the zoo first. He's just so sweet. I hope we meet again. Fucking well, tell me she's the f rock lady. Other Mart lady glares at your pet rock. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit, I did it. Okay, you win. Take this. You got a you rock cap. Good job. A chima locks the very best. Wait, I want fish lady. Wait, let me let me buy one more fish. Do ten. Okay. Is this the bread twins? Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Would like get some fresh bread? Oh. We've been running this bakery for four generations ever since my mom sailed from across the seas. I hope one day my children will be able to carry the tradition of managing this bakery. It means a lot to my husband and I. Welcome to a family bakery. What would you like? I'm Kate. I'm here to pick up an order. Mm, ah, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming, though I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. Did you know that this bakery belongs to the Michaels family? I guess you can't really tell it because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Please enjoy your baked goods. You got cow's bakery order. Nice. Cool, thanks. Alright, we're good to go now, Sunny. Ready whenever you are. Aww. Hey, stranger. What's your latest masterpiece going? Cow, Sunny. Nice to see you guys again. It's going well. I'm just drawing the different kinds of candy here. They all look so delicious. I don't think I'll be able to resist buying a treat for myself. Your drawing looks great. You should show the owner Miss Candace. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Oh, really? I don't know. Should I? Yeah, for sure. Don't you think so too, Sunny? Yeah. Hmm, yes. See? Sunny agrees. 
Mincy, you should definitely show her. Or else I will. No, no, please don't. No, I wouldn't do that to you. But I really think you should when you finish it. Uh, okay, I will. Go on ahead, Ed. You got this, Mincy. Hi, uh, hi, it's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What would you like today? So she's sweetheart. Let's see. One vacation helped most for a 30 hour flight. Jesus. Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, that's everything, and just in time, too. Looks like the sun's about to set. Let's go back to my house. Here should be coming anytime soon. That was dinner time already? What the fuck? Hold on, Buggeroo. I got to give this to a cat. Left a gift for you. You got trash. <laughs> Thanks. Saving. I don't like that it doesn't tell me what time it is. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little bit mad about me taking me so long. I'm supposed to bring back everything around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff. Well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. So. I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you first and get all excited. <laughs> this reminds me of, like, if you ask your mom, I don't know, if you ask my mom, she'll say no. She'll, she, I mean, she can say yes. If you ask my mom, she'll say yes, because she can't say no to you. See, it's a win-win for a situation for everyone. Got it? Okay, let's go. Let me pet your dog. Yes. yes. I pet the dog. The dog seems content. Mom, Sunny's here. Oh. What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it get to get a bunch of sandwiches and... Oh my, is that Sunny? It must be. So good to see you again, but dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. Hurry, Sunny, let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's ready. A bunch of family photos. Kel sure has a lot of relatives. A oh, door's locked. Oh, this is the bathroom. Think you can hold it a bit longer, Sunny? I want to show you my room first. Okay. Aw, oh, you definitely see who's who. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. God. Mom won't let me play it to Velda because she says it's bad for Sally. Oh wait, you haven't met Sally yet, huh? Guess what, Sunny? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. Aw, my mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. Do you- Cal, there's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Thank you. Achievement unlocked. I'll just take that. Uh, can 
I pee first? Thanks. Aww. I have a... What's that one about? Fishing and golf. Oh, who is it? Hey, Cal. Hi, Sunny. Sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil, we did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this. Especially with Aubrey and the scooter gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did off look awfully worried. Okay, just make sure to be home by dinner. I don't like where this is going. I'm gonna save. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Sunny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Where's his voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from an old hangout spot. Benches should still be somewhere here. Gotta be there, yeah. What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? We're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil, be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you out of here. Hey, stop it. What are you doing to Basil? What the? It's Colin Sunny again. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turf. This was our place. Shut up. Girl, go away, Cal. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot, wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, Kel, or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We aren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We weren't- We were telling you the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. You guys are just bullies. Come on, Aubrey. Sonny, you're gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach them a lesson. Serious? He's dead. Am I gonna die? I didn't pick up my knife.
Well, we really did it. The evil foes have been defeated. Dang, sorry, Sunny. Why did I think we could take on six people once, even if they're a bunch of dweebs? It's over, Kyle. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. Fuck you, Aubrey. No, I won't. I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mari is already dead. Ah, uh, can you stop with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you and what you say. And when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends too. But you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Oh, it's the same amount of people, isn't it? Uh, because it's, it's Aubrey, Kel, Hero, Mori. It is. It's the same amount. Ugh. Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just browning crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? She's crying. This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later, then. Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sunny, why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when you Mari died? Where were any of you? Oh, no. And you. And you, you're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did. Aubrey, I... Get away from me. <gasps> what the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You're taking this way too far. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean to. Sunny, don't worry, Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. I... I can't. I can't swim! I don't like how Mari keeps walking away from me. Please don't. I'm not a fan of this anymore.